Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning into the Parachain Auctions podcast. You'll notice today something pretty different. Uh, I got a haircut. Today from the Fala Network, we have with us Marvin Tong, co-founder and CEO, and Hong Yin, co-founder and lead developer, whose team just won the fourth parachain slot. Welcome to the show, Hong Yin, and welcome back, Marvin. Well, to start it off, how, how are you guys uh, feeling about the big win? Uh, hi, thank you. Uh, hi, Brian. Uh, first, I want to say that uh, uh, thank you for the invitation, and me and Hong are both very excited to join this uh cast show and uh we are very uh, happy that after a week's you know um a competition and color network successful win this slot and it means a lot to us uh it's the first batch of the slot auction and uh it's also like we are we are we are, we are the only the only uh winner uh who already listed and you know like uh, the aiming for privacy computation. So we think it, it means a lot for us. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, we had a really great conversation the other day uh, to get in depth on uh, exactly what Kala and Fala are gonna be doing over the next few months. Um, so this just happened. The win just happened this morning, I believe. Uh, well, at least morning my time. What time was it for you guys when the announcement was made and, and, and what were you doing? Uh, it's more like uh, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the afternoon uh, in our time zone, uh, the, the Beijing time zone. So, uh, yeah, so we keep on looking at, you know, staring at the screen, uh, the, the computer to check, you know, <laughs> what, when is the time we win this slot. It's really exciting. Yeah, I think you are the first uh, team that we've talked to that it wasn't like 2 or 3 in the morning for them. So you guys were lucky. You got a good time to be awake. <laughs> um, Thanks, man. Yeah. So, so how, so Hong, where, how, how did you feel about the big win? Yeah, I think it's kind of like uh, even uh, one week ago we have already expected because you know we make some advantage uh, in terms of the number of the uh, KSM voting. Uh, you know, so uh, actually I think it's not like a very big surprise for us. But of course, after we win the uh, slot, we did some small celebration in the office. We had a very good dinner. <laughs> Yeah, well, you, you said it wasn't a surprise to you, but uh, I, I mean, it did seem like it was a little bit more competitive there for a while, a little bit of back and forth between the two teams uh, to find out who was going to win. But you guys ultimately came out on top. Um, so congratulations for that, for sure. Um, so I, I guess I want to talk a little bit about what, what, what happens next over the next few days, weeks. What do you, what do you guys, uh, what will you be working on? Uh, I will take this part. Uh, first, uh, we will take a few days to check if our you know new version of Parachain can run uh, very well on Kusama. Uh, uh, if you know, for example, the if the blogs can pro you know produce in that state in stable way, and uh, uh, after we confirm it's okay. Uh, we will uh, begin to uh, do several things like, you know, we will use our proof of authorization to point out some council members, you know, for the period of POA stage. And uh, we will like begin to uh, sending the rewards to the KSM contributors, uh, either from decentralized application contributor or uh, uh, the, 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 the users from exchanges like Spark and users so that people can get distribution tokens, uh, reward tokens at the first time. And after that, we will uh, begin uh, to uh, launch a bridge between Tala Network to Ethereum so that the ERC20 holders for Fala token can transfer their token uh, from you know Ethereum to Tala Network. But the whole stage I, I just described is um, like it's still in POA and uh, there will be not allowed for token transfer because uh, we can only do that after we remove the sudo authorization. And 
um, maybe after two weeks, uh, we will launch a, a proposal. Uh, means that uh, we, we we will add our you know TE ecosystem uh, in the the whole you know core part of Bala network uh, deploying on, on the system. And if the guys uh, the community vote for I. The, the, the proposal passed, then uh, the, the official uh, mining system for FALA token will, you know, offshore launch and it will processing by authority. And uh, this is the time, you know, for our really big time. It means that there will be thousands, even more than 10,000 of servers begin to work for the network as a Web3 cloud. And after that, we will have, uh, you know, uh, you know, democracy election for the council, and after we have a democracy level council, we will begin to remove sudo and a lot of token transfer. So the whole period is uh need a uh, let you know several of milestones we need to break out, but we are expecting if there is you know uh not. Uh, uh, some uh, uh, technical problems happen. The whole process will be like in three to four weeks. But I mean, who who will know what happen in the in the future? Uh, Kusama is a uh, keen for expecting chaos. So does Color Network. If something happen, it happened. <laughs> we just uh, solve the problems and then we move on. So that's our next plan, Brian. Thank you for the question. Yeah, we make chaos. I believe. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, <laughs> hey, you brought it up. So uh, as um, as Marvin knows, we ask everybody who's on the show. Nobody is exempt from this. We ask them for a chaos score. So Hong, I'm going to have to ask you now, based on your experience, how chaotic has it been? One to 10, 10 being extremely chaotic. How chaotic has it been for you? Yeah, I think it will uh, definitely be 12. <laughs> yeah, because you know, in the past, uh, uh all of these uh substrate based uh blockchains all have their test nets running for a few months. Maybe some of them even run their uh main net for more than one year. But uh during the test net, especially in our last test net, uh we ran the network and there were about I think maybe uh three thousand miners running on our test net, and they are creating uh, tons of transactions on the block blockchain every day, every minute. So uh, just in within one, uh, I think just within one uh, one month, we uh, our uh, blockchain database grow from zero to around, I think, uh, 50 gigabytes. So it's a huge amount of data. So I'm very curious to see how cap cap capable the relay chain can handle our kills. Yeah, I think that there's a lot to uh, to look forward to here, and it's going to be interesting to see how the how the blockchain goes. the The bridge that you guys spoke about that that will also be a really interesting um, event to happen and see how smoothly that goes. I'm really curious to see how that how well that works. And uh, I mean, I just want to say thank you. You know, I don't want to get keep you away from the project too long. I know you got a big day going on right now. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and thank you both for joining us. Congratulations again on the big win. And uh, really happy you were able to join with join us again today. Thank you, Brian. And uh, another, uh, another time, thank you for the invitation. And we are very happy to, uh, you know, to, to cooperate in this program uh, on this uh you know, so excited uh, campaign for Kusama Network. It's a, uh, you know, it's a great, great move for uh, you know, the community and expanding for the future. Thanks. Yeah, and great to have you on as well, Hong. Very great to meet you. Thank you very much. It's a nice, uh, it's a really nice opportunity to talk with all the audience here. Well, our, our long form interview with Marvin is going to be available this Thursday, so be sure to check it out. Make sure to download it from your, uh, your preferred uh, podcast uh, provider. And thanks again to our guests, Marvin Tong and Hong Yin. Make sure you like, subscribe, and review us on your favorite podcast platform. And we will be sure to bring you along as we get a backstage pass to the world of Parachain Auctions. So until next time, I'm Brian Hoffman, and this has been the Parachain Auctions Podcast.
This content is not financial or investment advice. All interviews and discussions are opinions only. Kraken does not endorse the accuracy of this content. None of the following information should be construed as a recommendation to support any specific parachain project or to participate in parachain auctions in general. See our terms of service for more information.